somebody sent me a video of hip hop artist Roddy Rich in London performing. Somebody sent me a video of hip hop artist Roddy Rich performing in London this morning. Somebody sent me a Twitter clip of hip hop artist Roddy Rich. I want to say this to my brother Roddy Rich. I want to say this to my brother Roddy Rich and all other hip hop artists. Listen to me well. No disrespect at all, my brother. No disrespect at all, my brother. But I want to say this to Roddy Rich and all hip hop artists. Don't you ever in your life do a concert in front of an all white audience and lead them into singing one of your songs that got the N-word all in it. That is an insult to our people. That is a condemnation of our ancestor struggle. And it is one of the most Negro pen and coonish things you can do. I'm talking to every rapper and I don't care who don't like it. I'm talking to every hip hop artist and I don't care who don't like it. I'm telling you Negroes right now, you have no right, no right to perform in front of an all white audience and then motivate those whites, inspire those whites, encourage those white folks to use the N word and sing your song, which includes the N word. My brother, I am disappointed in you for doing that. And I am disappointed in all rap artists, all black comedians who think it's okay to use the N-word in front of white folks like it's funny. I'm talking to every rapper. I'm talking to every comedian. I'm talking to every actor. I'm talking to all you entertainers. I'm talking to the Negro entertainer. Don't you ever make white folks think it's okay to use the N-word ever. If that song got the N-word in it, you don't use the N-word. You don't sing that song. You had a whole lynch mob of white folks. Roddy Rich, you had a whole lynch mob of white folks. 50,000 packed out in London singing the N-word. I ain't see a black person in the audience nowhere and you leading these white folks into singing a song with the N-word in it. No disrespect to you, my brother. No disrespect to you, but you will not disrespect African people. You will not disrespect African people. That's for any rapper, any singer, any comedian, any artist. That's why I got issues with Dave Chappelle. And I like my brother Dave Chappelle. I like my brother Dave Chappelle. I like my brother Dave Chappelle. But my issue with Dave Chappelle is my same issue with Richard Pryor. And Richard Pryor was the goat of comedy, black or white. Richard Pryor was the goat of comedy, black or white. But my contradiction with David Chappelle, just like Richard Pryor, is he's married to a snow bunny. And he uses the N-word regularly in front of white folks like it's okay and it is not. Yes, there are some black men who still honor their race. Yes, there are some black men who still honor their people. Yes, there are some black men who still honor their culture. Yes, there are some black men who still honor our women. And then somebody sent me, and then somebody sent me, and then somebody sent me a Twitter post from a white woman. Somebody sent me yesterday a Twitter post from a snow bunny claiming that black people who call white women Karen, this is what she said. This snow bunny tweeted out yesterday that calling a white woman Karen is the equivalent of calling an African the N-word. Let me break this down real quick. Let me break this. Let me say this again. A white woman tweeted on Twitter yesterday that calling a white woman Karen, I know his wife is Asian, is still Snow Bunny to me. I call them all Snow Bunnies. They all cousins, Asians, Arabs, 
Caucasians. They all cousins. They all related. Anyway. This white woman tweeted out yesterday. This white woman tweeted out yesterday. That calling a white woman Karen. Is the equivalent. Of calling an African the N word. This is what I want to say to any white person. To any white woman. To any white man. If you think honky is the equivalent to the N word. If you think Karen is the equivalent to the N word. If you think Neanderthal is the equivalent to the N word. If you think cave dwelling organism is the equivalent to the N word. Let me break this down. White folks tune in. White folks please tune in. And for the record, I do not hate white folks. I have white fans. I have white fans. They come up to me. They talk to me. They take pictures with me. I got white folks who like my work. Okay? So I do not hate white people. I respect you as long as you respect me. I wish you no harm. I wish your children no harm. I wish your community no harm. But I need you to understand that I am unapologetically African. And I am unapologetically committed to the best interest of the black community, the black elder, the black woman, the black man, the black child. And I don't care what any non-African thinks about what I say, what I do, or who I am. I will respect you if you respect me, but I could care less about your opinion on what I talk about. So with that being said, with that being said, let me say this to white folks who think Karen, cave dwelling organism is the equivalent of the N word. Let me say this. The reason the N word carries a power in a stench and an emotional and psychological trauma and energy with it is because that word was the word. It was not a word. That word was the word. It was not a word. The N word was the word for 500 years used to describe, call upon, and refer to African people. And let me tell you what the word means. It means you are less than me. It means you are not a human being. It means you are an animal. It means you deserve the worst of what is left over. It means you are not equal. It means you are not deserving. It means I have a right to mistreat you any way that I want. I have a right to rape you. I have a right to sell you. I have a right to own you. I have a right to abuse you. I have a right to take your children. I have a right to take your land. I have a right to destroy your family. The N word is a word that simply means that the African man, woman, and child are not human beings and are not worthy of any form of respect or decent treatment. And moreover, 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 Europeans, the N word was a word codified in your laws. It was a word codified in your laws. When you read the laws of the 13 colonies, when you read the contracts of the slave ships and the enslavers, the N-word was written in as an official term to refer to African property. When you call me a N-word, you are calling me a piece of property. When you call me the N-word, you are calling me something less than an animal. When you call me the N-word, you are decertifying my humanity. The N-word is the word that grew out 
of the greatest forced migration in human history. The N-word is a word that grew out of the worst dehumanization campaign in human history. The N-word is a word that grew out of the rape and the bastardization and the theft and the destruction of African kingdoms and empires and families for 500 years has the word Karen ever been codified by law? Has the word honky ever been codified by law? None of the words black people use to refer to white folks have ever been, have ever had the force of law behind it. The N-word had the force of law behind it. And furthermore, white folks, and furthermore, white folks, and furthermore, white folks, because this is Black August. I do believe we are in Black August. This is Black August. And since I am King Leonidas himself, since I am King Leonidas himself, and since I am the prince of Pan-Africanism and the prince of black consciousness and Marcus Garvey is the king of Pan-Africanism and the Honorable Marcus Garvey is the king of black consciousness, I think this is my month. I think this is the month for the Leo because I am the king lion of black consciousness, not just in America, but in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in the Caribbean, in Canada, wherever you go, there's only one prince. And that's the man you listening to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So white folks, the reason what you say about and to African people matters. And the reason what we say to and about white folks do not matter. The reason what white folks say about and to African people matters. And the reason what African people say to and about white people do not matter. The reason what black people say to white folks don't matter. And the reason what white folks say to black people does matter is because white people benefit from white racism and you have a white privilege and you have a white advantage which breeds your white arrogance. I want to say it again. I want you to understand, overstand and understand. I want you to understand, overstand and understand. I want you to understand, overstand and understand. The reason what white people say matters is because it is backed up with the full force of the state. What you say out of your mouth is backed up with the full force of the state. Let me give you an example. Somebody sent me a video yesterday of a black man, a Nigerian African brother beat to death on the streets of Italy. Somebody sent me the video yesterday of a Nigerian African brother. Rest in peace to him. Condolences to the family. Rest in peace to him. Condolences to the family. Rest in peace to him. Condolences to the family. Someone sent me the video of an African Nigerian brother beat to death on the street in Italy. Allegedly, he says something to the white man's wife. I don't believe it. But allegedly. Allegedly, he says something to the white man's wife. I don't believe it. And even if he said something, it didn't entitle his death. White folks called the police. White folks filmed the incident. Not a single white person intervened. Not a single white person intervened to save that black man's life. I'm going to give you another incident. There was a young brother from America. A young brother from America. He went on a vacation with his white friends. Should have never did that, but he did. He went on vacation with his white friends in Europe. I forget the country. In Europe, I forget the country. He got into a fight at the bar or restaurant. He ran out the bar because he was being jumped by all of these Caucasians. None of the white friends he flew with from America. Listen to me, Caucasians. None of the white friends he flew with from America helped him when he was being stomped and beat by their fellow white people. He was beat to death. I can give you these examples all day long. 
I can give you these examples all day long. The point that I am making is because white people benefit from white power and white control and white domination of resources, opportunities, and privileges. When you say something to an African, it is backed up by the full force of the state because if the African chooses to engage you for your disrespect, he or she may likely lose their life standing up for their personal integrity. I'm going to say it again. If you call one of us out our name and we choose to engage you physically for that disrespect, the police will come to your defense. Other white people will come to your defense. The government will come to your defense. The media will come to your defense. They will find some kind of excuse. They will find some kind of excuse to justify what happened to us, just like they did with the Italian yesterday and just like they did in Europe with that brother who went on vacation a couple months ago. That's why you cannot use the N-word. And that's why I'm telling all rappers, all comedians, all actors, all black celebrities, stop selling your soul for a price in front of a white audience. Black comedians, stop selling your soul for a price in front of a white audience. Black rappers, stop selling your soul for a price in front of a white audience. Black singers, black actors, stop selling your soul for a price in front of a white audience.